So this thing is actually okay, crazy. Okay, now both today. of them, both of them have popped up now. Well, one of the things popped up now. Can y'all see us? Okay, y'all can. I'm getting thumbs up over here. They can see it. I'm just starting. Boy, the Cuz Productions on my end. Yeah. So got technically, you late. I ain't late, motherfucker. <laughs> Look, and then it's stuck to the bag, man. This is bullshit. That's why I want to sit like this. Piece of shit. Hold on, y'all. We try to get the camera work ready. Our DP didn't show up today. This nigga ain't got no DP. Let me see. Sit hey, back. all right. What's cool see. right there? Look cool right there. Yeah. What's was... happening, y'all? Didn't I tell you don't stick that on my dad's board? Nah, it's gonna come up. It, it better. It and it better not have no glue on there either. If it is, it ain't gonna do nothing. Right, Monique, what's you. happening? See this shit, man. Oh, I know what I did. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. I'm about to say, adjust, lean it back a little bit because it's like standing straight up. If you tilt that part to magnify. Magnify. Yeah, like that. Am I in? Bridget, what's happening? Good afternoon, everybody. What's cracking? What's cracking? Okay, somebody sent me a comment, cuz. I'm not sure if my if I yeah. had to reset they my. They said good morning. Just tell them good morning. They gonna say good morning. Babe. I did. They said Tracy said hey. Tracy, uh apologize hey. for the slight tardiness. And let me tell y'all something. I've been thinking about lately. Hey, Marie. And, and, and I know hey, it's, it's gonna sound funny me saying it, but. Uh, okay, Cherie said, hey. Okay, Man, okay. What the fuck is you study yelling Would for? you shut up? The fuck is wrong? I'm trying to make sure that this is not You can make sure quiet. Before I put this bag over there. Okay, there. hey, y'all. We got a couple of topics this morning. Cut the car off. So y'all can hear. Uh, sorry about the delay. Always, he, he act like y'all not important to him. Hey, no tell us, man. The, the brother want to know what the topic of discussion is, man. We got two of them, actually. We got two topics today. Number one, the first topic of the day is I noticed this week some of y'all, could you please stop rattling that bag? You can hear it. Hey, you know how they be having the thing that come on, uh, that be on now, the, the little memes and shit of this saying unbothered. No, I ain't saying that. I'm unbothered. Would you stop rattling that bag? Man, I got it. This is my plate. Hurry. Hurry up and get the bag fixed, man. Hurry up and fix the bag. This nigga. Because all I hear is bag. I can't even hear myself talking, man. Hey, man, shut the fuck up, man. She says she see you in the side of him. All right, thanks, Tracy. Yeah, because you ain't got me right, man. I do you always you right. doing all that woofing about me not putting you in there. And no, now you, you sitting stick sideways. it right there, man. I'm not sticking it nowhere. Stick it up your ass oh, nah, with that bag. Nah, I'm slap, don't slap, rat, don't rattle that I'm bag. I'm gonna slap shit out you. You say some don't, shit. Don't start rattling that bag. Say no some more. Just say okay. One the more topic of today is for we was really interrupted by this ignorant bass. Number one, ladies, this week I've been noticing some of the women, cause I don't know if you've seen it. Have you seen it? They are actually requesting that the beard gang come to an end. The beard gang. Yeah, they want to see y'all cut these beards off. I seen a couple of comments where ladies said, um, man, shave these beards so we can see y'all true essence. So I guess they saying y'all will look totally different if y'all shave y'all beard. Nah, what it is is they they done seen a lot of um <clears throat> a lot of gay dudes with beards lately. And I uh, they they had that uh shit going on in that barber shop. Somebody told me that it was a um a nigga sitting in there with a beard. Getting his beard did and it looked it right and all that shit. And then she tried to show me. I was like, I don't want to see no niggas in no barb shop. Nigga, the fuck wrong with you, bitch? Went off on her. But she was like, I just wanted you to see how they... I said, I don't want to see nothing where it say niggas naked. I don't see that. No. Are we talking about the same thing? Yeah. We, I, I'm, I'm saying can, that's the only we, reason I think... That's the only reason I think I that they Lisa. sparked that. I see and hear y'all. Okay, cool. Bobby, Kenya, what's up? What's up? Hey, they gonna what's that money. gonna be doing that? That's, they, fuck that. That's the money. That's the money's auntie. In the, the in the production hey, meeting, Kenya. we said we was what's not going to keep stopping. Look who here early. And KD. Send us, get, send a shout out. We wasn't going to do that. We gotta I'm sending shout out to my motherfucker. Okay, people, man. again, ladies, what is this going on within the past week or so? Y'all want brothers to shave their beard. Are y'all saying y'all want a booty face looking dude? Don't no real man shave off all his facial hair. 
Amen. The only time you see a real man with facial hair missing is because it was a slip of the razor. Or it was in the, in the arm surgery. Why are y'all trying to soften the fucking men up out here? What is going on in this? Is it something New in the New masculinity. New masculinity is what they fighting for right now. I mean, That's did y'all, ladies, did y'all really want that much independence that y'all want to change y'all man into a bitch? There ain't no independence. A nigga gonna do what he's gonna do. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. I didn't grow my bed for these bitches. These niggas, no, for real. I grew up for me. Fuck them. So what's your point? The new masculinity thing that they got out, they trying to soften everything man, especially black man. They trying to soften us the fuck up. What's up, Tia? And ain't no motherfucker. Nobody can hear you when you got a mouth full of shit, man. You can't hear me. They can't understand you. Shut man. up, man. She mean. I don't know shit about that. I, I love, love my husband's, husband's beard. beard. Yeah, yeah they, I've been seeing that on Facebook. Has any other women been seeing that on Facebook? The it's, beards are fine. I just like. I just like they're, when, when they're, they're well, well, well grown. grown. Okay. What's up, Lita? The point. The point is, I'm seeing a lot of ladies, a lot of sisters, on Facebook now. Saying they want the men to shave the beard. What else are y'all trying to strip us of? You got these dudes walking around in these little romper rooms or whatever they call these pajama <laughs> things. Romper room. I don't understand that. And, and, and you know what? I've had some women that wants to purchase me a gift or whatever for my birthday that's coming up. And some of the shit they trying to buy, you know what? That's why I stick to the basic. If you want to give me a gift, cologne, watch, or some shades. People know me for that. But I don't understand. Hey, Shermaine, they said that's unsanitary as well. What, the beard? Tracy Tracy Vaughn saying that that's unsanitary. Is it the beard? Hair, pubic hair is supposed to be unsanitary. But a nigga better wash his shit and keep his shit together, man. Let me tell you something, man. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not changing who the fuck I am, and I ain't accepting this faggot ass shit they got going on. Somebody, one of your people said, just keep it well grown, man. Not so bushy. I get that, but no, I, I think we talking about two different things, hey, ladies. Nick. We said we wasn't going to do it in pre-production Nick, meeting. Nigga said something to you, see? You fucking punk. She said money is a great gift. When they was trying to give you, ladies trying to give you gifts, money's a great gift. You're going to tell me not to say nothing. She said something. I really don't have a problem with the beard. If it looks nice and groomed. Then, then we, we should be good. Yeah. But if, okay. See, we talk about two different things, ladies. We're not talking about the man keeping the beard groomed. These yes, that's what I'm saying. What these, if we these ladies are asking us to cut it all the way off? Let me give you. A, let me think. Let me tell you what I think. What me and Cuz talked about in a pre-production meeting this morning. We think y'all want us to shave it all the way off, so you can see the true essence of us. But did anybody ask y'all to shave off them lace fronts? Don't put them on. Don't put we no got, perm. Let in me your see head, who no you perm. really are. Yeah. Be out here with your edges Tell them, that cuz. you don't got. You, your edgeless ass. Tell them. Yeah. And, and, and some of you women, why y'all bullshit? Some of y'all got motherfucking goatees and shit. We see that shit. You try to cover it up with the mustache, the, the makeup down there. You, you, your goatee chin have an ass motherfucker. Okay. Give a you, fuck. Don't. Tracy said, I like beards. Okay, cuz, don't, don't like go directly at them that hard, calling them crazy motherfuckers and all. We don't do that on this show. This is a Christian based, Man, family the fuck up. wholesome show. You got a goddamn fool. I'm gonna say what the fuck I wanna say. And Man, I ain't going at them. I'm going at the ones that's trying to come at us, trying to change us. Women have, let me tell you something. Women have whoa, always tried to change us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, where did it go? Damn, I can't pull it back. See, my Women shit are, is stuck or something, man. Mm -mm. You got a lot of people doing this shit. Damn, uh, somebody just said, um, if you shave it off, y'all look like monkeys. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't no man, don't no real man have, Tracy say, keep the beards. Don't no real man walk around with no hair on his face. First off, let me get this understood. Ballhead was never part of no beard gang. Because when they open that beard page up, I can hear your jawbone click. Could you please stop smacking, cuz? Your jawbone, I can hear the clicking in your jawbone. Hey, man, you, 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 you complain too much about what I do, man. Cuz you, you've you got a valid point you're trying to make, but you smacking and sipping and jaw popping and all that. 
Say what you gonna say without doing all that extra s smacking and stuff. I'm do what I want to do. Anybody gonna do nothing about it? Somebody might not. I do what I want to do. Anybody gonna do nothing about it? You lucky you got that hot ass coffee in your Why? Wow, I scar yours. Yours ain't hot. Listen here. Let me explain something to you, ladies. <laughs> Nikki said you can't trust no man. You sure can't, hair. baby. You sure can't. He's suspect. Only motherfucker that ain't got no facial hair. Let's get this understood. See you on my camera. See hey, man, that's why you should put your camera the way it should be. Um, if a man ain't got no facial hair, it's possibly because either he's going through chemotherapy, medical situation. Man, cuz, if you keep touching me, I swear to God. You just gonna sit be, back a little gonna, bit. I'm going to make you jump about this guy. This is a perfect spot. I don't want to move it. Just sit I'm not sitting seat. still because your camera's stupid. Just sit back. Sit back. Also. You way up here. Only other reason a man should not have a facial hair if he is one of the people in service, uh, like a, an army, or this or KD said you complain like old ass. Man, woman. fuck KD. Hey man, you better watch your mouth, man. I'm talking about folks like that, man. Man, fuck KD don't and you don't too. Say that. Don't say and you that. too. Don't say that, KD ain't here to don't save say that, you. Mama. Save me. Why the fuck do you hey, keep tickling it? the grown Yes, because yes, you tickling. Now shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Hey, right. I don't do shut up. You don't. Shut up. <laughs> shut your mouth. Hush your mouth. Hush. What you say? It is the power up. <laughs> <laughs> now look. A lot of men, if he don't have no hair on his face, he got to be something going on. He got to be in the armed service, or he either have an illness. That's a, a, a reason why we have hair on our face is what we have in our body. We're masculine. We have testosterone. Okay? That's what the fuck we got. What is it that women got in their body? Um, what's that shit they got in their body? Estrogen. Women have estrogen. Your estrogen is supposed to stop you from not having fucking hair in your motherfucking face. So, ladies... Whoever has a problem with the things that have been going on, with the changes of men, it's the men you're choosing. You're not going to change no real man. Right. A real man ain't going to give a fuck. That's why I probably didn't understand or hear what you were saying or hear, see that because I don't read I don't read a lot of that shit now. I read, after I read that whole bullshit in GQ magazine, I was pissed off, but... What did you read? It was um, the article about the masculinity thing. Oh. The new masculinity shit. Is that the picture? And for real, yeah, for real, got on that, for real, got on that raincoat, life jacket, bullshit. <coughs> yeah, let me tell you something. A man is gonna be a man. We gonna be who we gonna be. We not finna. I ain't get. I ain't got this old to start listening to no cackling ass women that want to change the world, or some white woman that wants to change the world. And how men view things, they say that. Masculine uh, aggression is why a lot of things are bad today and this, that, and other. Man, fuck all y'all. Okay, so if I've been with the guy for a year. Had, and he has never seen me without a wig, and I've never seen him without hair on his face. See more, hit it. Yeah. I love the beer again. Oh, she's saying she's been with her guy for so long. He's never seen her without a wig, and she's never seen him without facial hair. It's LaDonna. Madonna, I don't want a man without face, without hair on his face. Yeah, Michelle. Davis. Michelle. Yeah. I got a little mustache. It's a little shadow. I can't trust it. Thank I can trust can. it. I mean, you got. I mean, you got rich blood, baby. That's what that means, Nikki, baby. Um, y'all over. Y'all love each other. Bridges Maxwell said, "Y'all love each other." Yeah, I love my cousin. Yeah, why? But he's stupid. No, she said it's No, you I, stupid. Don't call me stupid. Was, Don't you, you ever call me stupid again. <laughs> this ain't Steve Harvey and hey, nephew You know Tommy. what was so funny? When you just said that, because you said, Don't you ever call me stupid again? And you're going to look me up down, but I'm sitting down. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I was hoping you weren't about to waste that coffee. Nah, nigga, look me up and down. Look me up and down when I was sitting down. Yeah, so this is the thing that we, we, we really brought this situation up for. Looks more like the new femininity. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it ain't the new masculinity. That's new femininity. You know that's the money's uh, auntie. Oh, okay. Number one supporter. You gotta, you gotta realize something. Arnell say, beer women, game, ball, ball face is lame." <laughs> yeah, yeah, ball face. Ball face is, ne is never gonna win. Ain't gonna never win. Anyway, Tra we uh, passed TQ, that shit. TQ Fuck said, "Ball face is creepy." Yeah, any motherfucker got ball face creepy. But I mean, it's all about how you want to look. If you want to, fellas, if you got a beard and your girl pushing you to cut that motherfucker off, maybe you need to cut that bitch off. 
Go cut the beard. Cut the bitch. Did you? Okay, number one, you just. I used the bitch word twice. That's you it. used the bitch word. And then you said cut somebody. Did, are you referring to the slicing the I hook? said, if your woman wants you to cut your beard, you might as well need to cut the bitch. Don't cut the beard. Like cut her with a. You saying like. Cut her off. Like cut oh, her the oh, fuck oh, off. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I sorry. thought you were saying cut her. I was about to say, man, we don't condone violence. This is a Christian. We don't condone violence? Family, okay. wholesome base show. Okay, he said we don't condone violence. Let's get into the new topic. What's the new topic? That was your topic. You said. Yeah, my new topic, the topic that I have, the other topic is, and I want people to, to understand this. Nikki, I know you're going to be rolling with this. Hey, violence is needed. Yeah. Violence is needed. There are times in people's life where everybody need to get the shit smacked off that motherfucker. Uh-huh, especially in traffic. Yeah, Lord. Or shot at. I say shot at. I think that everybody should have concealed carry. That way we can shoot at each other when you when you do dumb when, shit when in you traffic. Got, when you got a gun, some people don't even deserve guns because they make it make them tougher. They never would be tough before. When you put a gun in your hand, it's a, di it's a different type of power. Even the type of gun you got. You can have a motherfucking AR-16 at the crib and a nigga talking crazy. Man, who the fuck you talking to, nigga? Oh, you must got a gun. Cause I know the other night I seen, uh, I seen, um, I was downtown working Lyft and I ran into a crime scene. It was a cab driver. Oh, good, you know. And you know, these cab drivers, they be, they be messing with us cuz with the Uber and Lyft drivers cause they, they be mad and jealous. We get the runs that they, they don't, don't get. They ain't never mess with me. And they shot that cab driver ass up and killed him right at the so, corner of Randolph and Wacker. That was a robbery. Uh. No, that wasn't. No, it wasn't. They was they was road rage. But my point is, ro see now Facebook kicking in right. See that road rage. I think I'm a trucker for nearly thirty years. You're over, you're over the dr over the road, man. Would you shut the fuck up? He's a left driver. Trying to tell me my career. Left see, that's what I'm saying. In traffic. Um. And some of y'all, man, the shit that y'all do in, in traffic, y'all need y'all ass whooped. For real. For with, real. Road, with the road? Which, are you talking about the road rage? Thing? Road rage. Now, case in point, my homie went out and bought a brand new, fully loaded $90,000 Escalade. He was riding in the old folk lane, the first lane, doing the speed limit. All of a sudden, his back window exploded. And come to find out, in the car, smoking weed, slammed into the back of him. She slid across two lanes, hit the wall. This heifer climbed out of the car, ran up on my man. He got a 4-5 in his lap. And she calling him with the with the duck shit. Yo, goof ass. Yo, goof ass. Driving all slow. Yo, goof ass. They clocked this, this chick cuz at 108 miles an hour. And slammed into the back of this man's truck. Her dad's and boy. And he was going to shoot the shit out that little bitch. Her dad's boy was going, Nyow. He was about to, man, he told her, little bitch, if you don't go, <laughs> if you don't go and get the fuck back in that car and wait for the police to show up. And they took her little ass and everybody else that was alive in that car to jail. How he should have the shot their ass. Jail, huh? How did he take the passengers? They was in there smoking weed. Oh, okay. They was in there getting high. And she flying her little ass. That, man, y'all people on that damn ride, 290, and that Bishop Ford. The two worst things you they ever me. invented, y'all call me a hater or whatever, is cell phones and cars go faster than 80 miles an hour. Some you of y'all right. niggas don't deserve it. We, the reason I'm talking about need, violence is needed is because a lot of people need to wake up. A lot of people, you got women, and I, I, know, I hate to I say know, it. Bridget, I'm sorry. I hate to say it. A lot of women need shit slapped out of them. And you know who, who will agree with me? Women, a lot of women be needing shit slapped out their ass because they be talking real motherfucking foul, real reckless. Then a motherfucker say, a motherfucker say to you, uh, you ain't supposed to hit women. No, I'm not. Women, but uh, women, when a woman gets outside of being a woman and trying to be a man, she got a little bit more testosterone in her than you thought it would be, and she might need the shit slapped out of her to. Shake it up and even up her motherfucking <laughs> what they call it. I say they got them in them estrogen. They, yeah, slap the estrogen. You know, Tracy right just helped you too with that, and you're not paying attention. 
I can't pay attention because I can't see your stream. That's why that's why we was arguing earlier about the politic part. Keep you it don't neat. read. Keep it neat. Who don't read? Uh, uh, for all for all Man, our, fuck for all our family out there, I'm sorry, y'all know I normally don't cuss and all that, but I'm I'm just tired. It's getting kind of dangerous out there, man. So, man, y'all gotta, y'all don't understand, man. Some of these people out here, man, in these streets, I think that um, what was we saying? Anger management. There's only one way to manage anger. Management. Anger. At first off, I went to anger management, and I went to anger management in in in, in the most unlikely it place. You did it. I went to anger management when I was in the penitentiary because their administration in Minnesota Correctional Facilities. They said I was doing shit different. Them niggas would be finna get in the fight. They would go in the bathroom. Me, where the fucking went, that's where the fuck we gonna go. And so I was kicking niggas ass in the lunchroom, gym, on the way to gym, on the way to yard, on the way. I, and and they, they was like, man, what's wrong with you? I said, nigga, we in prison, motherfucker. Fuck you mean, what's wrong with me? So they sent me to anger management class. I graduated. Anger management class. It got my work, certificate and got up there on that thing and said, "This shit do not work. I'm still mad." I, I figured that. Cause I was in jail. Who the fuck gonna be pleasant in jail? But you can have a pleasant demeanor about yourself. You can speak to people and be nice. Now in, in life and in the world, you don't have to walk around and be mad all the time. It's reasons to be happy. Number one reason: you woke the fuck up. You're alive. Be glad you woke the fuck up. However, people do shit. And you give them so many passes. When you give the people passes, you know what's happening? You building it up. You building it up. You building it up. And then one day, boom, you snap. But you snap on a motherfucker with all the other shit you were supposed to snap for. Tracy said, what did her uh, dashboard say? What did her dashboard say? The little girl, what did her dashboard say when she ran into the back of my man? Oh, you, you said, you the one told it said 180 or something. You said, I said it said 108, but you said it said yum. Oh, yeah, that motherfucker said yum. That bitch was Anger flying. management is Jose and a blunt of loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I anger don't get that. Drink some Jose and smoke some blunt. That's the anger management. My anger management is, is, is PlayStation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or my anger management is just being by myself. What about Listen to some old school motherfucker. God? Old school music. What yeah. about burning some incense and meditating it, it, it could be, it could be, talk to it God? It could be whatever... Makes you man and so you manage your a, anger. You pick the PlayStation over God. Dude, dude, I'm telling you what the things are matter. What you think is your anger management is cool. That's good for you. Everybody got their own level of, of management. I'm, I'm, I'm even getting that shit up off of that. Only everybody no, got their only re, man. Yeah. Shut up, talking to me. Everybody got their own reason. I mean, their own way to manage their anger. So again, go you, to that place. Use okay. it. Don't worry about how the fuck I do it. I pray every day. So you and Henry, and I pray for Henry peace. Went, Henry went to drugs and alcohol, and you went to a video game. And y'all don't understand why y'all angry? Sometimes the Lord, let me tell you something, and I'm just going to be real. You could pray for peace of mind. You could pray for this, that, and other. But sometimes when you're mad, you might need somebody to talk to you or something to get inside of yourself and make yourself that would be better. The Lord. Cause get your hand on me. Cause that would be the Lord. I'm gonna scratch your ass out with this comb. Cause you're making me not animate. You and Henry, I feel That's as though y'all may need. Get the fuck some, off me. Y'all may need some hugs or some guidance. Oh, a special I shout out. I need a hug from a naked bitch. Me and Cuz wanted to let y'all know. Being inspired by Tyler Perry himself. Welcome to our new studio. It's called Lot Studios. Lots. Lot Lots Studios. That's, that's that's we just launched our new studio today, so everybody clap it up for our new nigga, studio. We're a, nigga, we're in a parking lot. That's a lot. Shut the fuck this up. This is man. not a parking lot. It's a parking lot. We're if in. you don't look we're at it car. as a parking lot, this is Lot Studio. I can't look at a parking lot no other way but to be in a parking lot. The fuck is you talking about? So you're not inspired? No, I'm not inspired. We're parked. I am parked. That's what the fuck I am. This is Lot Studios. So y'all will be get, seeing more productions coming out of Lot Studios. Kenya, just in so Kenya much I need that. I do need that. And, I, and now that, I know, will calm you down. Thank you, Henry. Henry congratulated us on Lot Studios. You the only one, Henry. Henry! What my people are This nigga no love? is talking about we in a lot, a parking lot. No, we're not. This is our this studio. Is you have to be able to see it. See, that's because you didn't choose the Lord 
You chose the video game over the Lord. If you knew how to meditate and pray, you see the. I see this is our studio. I see why they say never listen to the white man. This nigga is delusional. This is our this is Lot Studios. Studio. So give it up again, y'all. For nigga, we cut the ribbon on Lot Studios. Ah! Hey, I'm gonna put that up. I'm gonna put that up. I'm gonna put that up. When I'm when I make our next uh flyer. For this, I'm gonna put up Lot Studio. Uh, where are we doing Pro Lot Studio production? Yep, this is our. Y'all produce in Lot Studios. That's just like this okay. nigga is crazy. Y'all help this man understand. Wendy, why the fuck did you say congratulations? Let me. A lot of people said congratulations. Let me let me say ask y'all something. Help him to understand. Yeah, gotta start somewhere. I got a vision too, but not in the lot, man. This is not a studio, man. It's a parking lot. Y'all help him to understand. Tia, what the fuck is you clapping? for? Y'all, listen, help him to understand He's something. Talking to Such For those of you all that are in marketing, <laughs> production, anything, when you come together and meet and hash out or brainstorm ideas, isn't that referred to as a pre-production meeting? We have our office. Our office is, oh, I'm sorry, our, our new office, y'all. Pop it up for the new office. Our new office is located at the corner of Roosevelt and Canal. We open 24 hours, so if y'all want any wedding shot, videos done, cuz cuz booking comedy Nigga, stores, you is talking about the White Palace. That's our office. Not our office, restaurant. Don't you the see that that's our fucking office? Truck. Don't you see you are making shit up? I'm not. From shit that is already there? No, that's ours. Uh, Columbus, Christopher the owner, Columbus. The owner don't have a problem with it. Look, a pigeon just landed in the bush. I ain't never seen that before. He pigeon probably usually landed on the ground. Anyway... The owner don't have a problem with us referring to it as our new office. So our yes, new yes. office, if you need us, Perfect. you can find us any night or call ahead so we can meet you there. It's at the corner of Roosevelt and Canal. There is no 100 West or none of that. We're located at the corner of Roosevelt and Canal and Lot Studios, we citywide. We, we have, like Tyler has his acres, He's bigger than Disney. We actually bigger than Tyler now. Let me tell you because something. our studio and I'm so serious about is this. over the whole city. If when when, when the time comes, I need y'all to pray for Cuz. He's losing his motherfucking mind. This nigga is making up shit out of shit that is already there. Where are we right now? But that is what the white man T does. Tell the people where we at right now. We in a fucking parking lot. Lot Studios. Not no Lot Studios. It's a parking lot. You a lot of crazy motherfuckers. This is Lot right? Studios. Why would you lie to them like that? In your cousin's defense, the words, the word says, wherever two or are more gathered, gathered to produce, it is a production studio. Kenya, I, 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 I would have thought better from you. You're going to go with this bullshit? Oh, my God. Bomac, Patrice, what's up? Hello. What's so, up, Miss Brooks? I can't I Thank can't you, Kimberly. Kimberly said congratulations. Crazy, Lisa say yes. Very creative. Lot Studios. For some reason, y'all can't scroll backwards. Well, just, Jackie just said congr congratulations. Well, Thank y'all for congratulating us on our new studio and our new office. Oh, we worked really hard it for it. This nigga, you just made me forget I was finna say some shit about some shit. But I, 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 I want to continue the topic about violence. I'm not talking about gun violence. Let me see say, Lord Jesus, come get me out of this floor. Oh my oh, God, oh, I can't do this fool. <laughs> Lots. Uh, whatever you want to say it is, because, you know, I'm going to... I ain't gonna I'm say not I'm making it up. It's the truth. Where are we right now? We at Lot Studios. Bridges, We're I filming right now at Lot Studios. Where's our office? Where was we at at three o'clock this morning, talking about today's topics? Where were we? I'm not, I'm not when you call me every day, you say, "Cuz, meet me at the where? At the I, office." I said, "Meet me at the spot." Everybody that know us, Dion, Leon, Marlon, Free, everybody that's been with us for over the years know. That man, you almost made me speak they, the coffee out of my mouth. That man. we refer to Roosevelt and Canal as the office. When everybody Okay, here, okay, man. Okay. Okay, shut the fuck up. So where's our new office located? I'm not saying none of that shit. Roosevelt I'm Canal. I'm gonna sound retarded. You wanna you wanna I can't believe Say it, that man. is what it is. Congratulations. We worked this hard over the years to get this stuff, man. Nigga, we worked hard over the years 
To get what? To get in the car? Shut the fuck up. We're not in the car. We're in the studio. This is our studio. This is our sofa. We just didn't have a special guest today. I just See the lighting the in our studio? I just great. closed the door. In the car. This is our lighting. Anyway, Look at our lighting structure. Anyway, listen, listen. listen. But now watch this. Out. At the flip of switch, I can send us into, see? I gave us nighttime mode. Not no nighttime mode. The lights went off. The interior lights went off in the car. You have if to I see. If I find out you on cocaine or some shit, or that new shit, the fentanyl shit, I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. You shut up. We have come you a long shut way, up, man. man. I fall hard for this. Yeah, we came a long way. We came from uh our house to 79th Street. The fuck is you talking about? No, we didn't. We is. We on 79th and Western at Dunkin' Donuts. Come get this nigga. <laughs> we at a lot near you. Man, a lot of bullshit. That's what you want. First off, let me tell y'all something. Violence. I really want to thank y'all for coming out and, and, and supporting us at my shit that I got going on that when I was doing the dating game. For a year and a half, I really, I really am grateful for the people that came out and supported me. But I got to go. It's official. Then I'm going. I'm getting the fuck on. Those who contribute funds that we purchase. I am, I am going to be moving to Atlanta. I think the the tenth of next month is the last <laughs> day I'm gonna be here. I have a show this Sunday. When I get up, well, get your motherfucking hands on me, hunky. Mm -hmm. I have a show this Sunday. Just keep calling me. It will be my last show in Chicago for a while. Seriously, for a while. Um, it is Sunday at the winery on Randolph. I'm going to hit and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put the link up to get your tickets. The tickets are $20 at the door. I mean $20 in advance, $25 at the door. This show is put together by Ed Lover. You know, it's, come on, son. Ed Lover. Also is going to be on the show, my girl Kelly Howard and my girl Dawn B. This show is going to be crazy in the motherfucker. It's a, it's, a, it's a heartfelt show for me because it's going to be my last show in a place where i never been at. And my my, my, my H. Coon Boom, my, my big brother KD, mm -hmm. had been trying to rent this motherfucker place. Appreciate your, uh, calling me, man. your show in Detroit. I mean, in Michigan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Women, where is she at? She scroll, it's scroll, it's okay. messing up over here. So, she she said she enjoyed. Patricia, the show. thank you, send the love from Washington so who, D.C. Who's uh who's the production over the uh, show with you and their lover? I don't know. Oh, you don't know who? We give a okay. fuck about no production. No, it's because they're in association with Lot Studios. So you gotta say that. You gotta say like. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna get the fuck up off here, man. Man, we got plenty of time no, left. No, 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 no. I can't take it. No, because you, you, you got to promote us, man. You is hallucinating. You got to say, like, nigga. Okay, let me, let me tell you something. Was. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me, let me, let me say Somebody something. Somebody say, don't come back in, on here until I see you on TV. All you got to do is, um, I've been on TV about five, six times, Bridget. What the fuck are you talking about? And I'm going to be on there again, you know. I, I was, I, I had to leave and come back to take care of some shit. Okay, Kimberly. Now I'm coming back. I'm, I'm going to go back stronger. However, when you said we had this this meeting at the office, right? Remember mm -hmm. we said that, you know? We didn't say shit about no lot studios. You didn't say that. You just you just thought of that today. You just mentioned that today. No, I didn't. So you hallucinate. I asked you, was you going to be here today for the ribbon cutting ceremony for lot studios? And you said, yeah, that's why you here. Nigga, ain't no ribbons in here. We cut it already. They didn't get it. Nigga, my car is getting the oil change. That's why I'm in your car. What the fuck is you talking about? And we join down and get some coffee. Man, Lord, you're going to have to accept this for what it is, man. Lord, gee, this nigga is a little... We're doing very well for ourselves. Trisha, our topic today was... We had two topics. One of them was about... We really was just asking questions, trying to bring awareness to why a lot of women are trying to dumb down masculinity, bringing up this new masculinity bullshit. And, um... You're welcome, Trace. Yeah. That okay. was the first topic. Second topic was about violence. Violence is needed. Yeah, when 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 violence is needed, it, you know, and it's not gun violence. Somebody might need the shit slapped out of him. Somebody like your may grandma need or somebody. You yeah. know that one uncle at, at Thanksgiving, he always get drunk and fuck the dinner up. You should reach up and just slap Bridget, the shit out of him. Bridget, I know that. You know I was talking shit. You know I was talking shit, Bridget. And I ain't coming back till, they, till you see me on something 
something different or something. Dude. Okay, you and Bridget cannot have a personal private we did. conversation. Bridget is my friend. And we on air right now. Bridget is my friend. We on air. We are worldwide right now. Bridget. The world is watching us and you and Bridget having a personal one-on-one. Y'all not going to mess up this Patricia, studio. Patricia, ain't no ribbon cutting. Y'all are, not, y'all are not going to mess up this, this, what I built. Boy, I shit I built car. this empire. This empire. I built this. I built this empire. This empire. Imp imp okay. The fuck good. is an empire? Shut the fuck up, fool. Okay, that's still. Hey, that one finger muff, that ghost pull type of violence. No, what not that? that type of violence. Ghost, you, you don't be watching Power, so you don't understand. But that was a funny, that was a funny bitch. Every nigga done damn near did that to his woman. I, I, look, I seen my motherfucking mm -hmm. uncle uh -uh. Mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. to a motherfucker mm -hmm. one day. Mm -hmm. They was arguing. Mm -hmm. He was like, you keep on motherfucking praying me. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Niggas done did it to their kids mm -hmm. and shit. No, we not, don't know. We don't condone violence on this show. <laughs> Shamika, why the fuck is your shit called? <laughs> Third shift. Third shift. <laughs> what kind of name is that? That's a because her job. She works a third shift. But, yeah, why would you name yourself third shift? Hey, hey, she letting the motherfucker know one thing: who she is, and she be working, and she just happened to work On the third, third shift. shift. What's happening, baby? Yeah, ATL. Goddamn it, ATL. Um, got a lot to offer for me. Um, I had a lot of things going on at ATL before, and I had a thing that would have changed my life, but I had to come back, and I had to. Oh, you know what I'm going to do later on? I'm going to do a Q&A on my live. I'm going to do a Q&A on my live on here. And everybody, we can get it all out. We can get it all out in one swoop thing. And I'm going to give y'all about 40, 50 minutes of questions. And I'm going to answer every single question. So I'm going to do that after this. Give me, um, what time is this? 1, 12, 20, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do it at... 2 15. 2.15, I'm going to do a personal live where I'm going to do a Q&A about anything y'all want to ask me pertaining to motherfucking ATL, pertaining to life, pertaining to whatever. That's what I'm gonna... Look like you're digging your nose. No, dude, don't tell your me. schedule not going to permit that because you got to go back over to get the car, the oil change. So you're not going to be able to do it at that time. We'll let y'all know at what time he can do that. Tia, when you going to come to where the fuck I'm at? I'm, I'm going to be at the Bedford Park thing. You know, we get my oil changed. Can you can you all please say the topic about women again, please? In y'all new, new, new studio. Tell her, man. I can't take it. She said We was talking studio, about uh, women. I love these people. Women, women trying to thumb down these guys. I was reading uh, earlier this week. It's been on Facebook and social media. Women want to see men cut their beard. They, they talking about ain't no more beard game. The beard gang is over. Cut your beard so we can see the true essence of who you are. I think that shit got to do with that gay barbershop shit. The naked, I ain't meant, the naked barbershop shit. Because they said it was dudes in there with beards. And they was getting their beard cut. They was naked. The dudes cutting their shit was naked. And I, I don't know. What it is was, that? Dude, it's something happened in Atlanta. Some dude from Chicago, a barber from Chicago, went down to Atlanta. And he opened up a naked barbershop. So you gotta realize who be in the barbershop, men. So all in, this nigga cutting hair, naked. Do he got women barbers too? No, it's just dudes. I don't, well, I don't know. Somebody tried to show me the table. I didn't, I didn't want to watch that okay, shit. Okay, here we go, y'all. Y'all know I'm always the good cop, just the bad cop. I'm about to turn bad cop. Cuz when I come visit you, take me there, cuz I'm burning that bitch down in the name of Muhammad. I'm telling you that right now. I wish I would drive past a barber shop and see a naked ass man, naked as a free slave, Shreve. cutting another man's hair. I will burn that motherfucker to the ground, man. Now y'all making me cuss. What be what be too long, Monique? The beard. She's saying the beard. Oh, the beard be too. Hey, look, I want my beard to grow as big as it's gonna get. But if, if anybody it got is any what it information is. or address my on shit. this naked barber shop. Please send, fuck, man? Hey, man. Uh -uh. Please send it to me. Amen. Uh uh. Please send it to me. We don't go. We you, don't. We don't condone. I'm driving a deuce in the quarter on three flat tires. Do you know what, you, that do you, do you know what you're promoting right now? What you saying you're gonna do that? We talking about violence no, today. To some no, violence is needed. No, some violence is needed. But um, they have a they have a it's a it's a law against that type of violence. 
And you know it is. But, man, come on, cuz. Man, come on, cuz. If you're going to do something about it, you can't do it over here. A keep your beard dude nice and clean. Standing there. I don't Love even it. want my barber too close to my shoulder. I'm going to keep with my his, beard. With his Johnston. I'm going to try to do cut. my best to always have my, my beard. My barber cut, stands right. back like this and cut. He don't even get nowhere near the chair. Well, you know, it's a what lot. What kind of, of world we live in, here, man? It's a dude standing there. You telling me it's a dude standing there? I don't believe that. Hate I don't crime. believe that. You can't, you can't, you can't say that because it's like a hate crime. I don't believe. Is the but man the gay? I don't know. I don't. He gotta be gay if he's standing there with his dick out. That come on, y'all. Come, on, man. You, that's society, man. Y'all, we gotta do better. Hey, man. man shit didn't change, man. It ain't changed like that. Ah. I, <laughs> He ain't making us all accessories. Cut, cut the, the shit, shit cuz. Yeah, cut it. Cause cuz what you said, you, you can't say. Now, now you know you always telling me. What's the first time y'all ever gonna hear me say he can't say that? You know why you can't that say just, it? Listen, that just listen, I'm gonna on, tell you man. something. Why you can't say it? It's a crime. What you're saying. You're not saying something about, you know, they could, they could, they could, they could, they could take that. But on this show, we always promoting comedy. We always joking. So you're just joking. I know you're joking. Cause I ain't gonna never tell y'all what the fuck I do. Somebody send me the address to the barber shop. That's all I'm asking. All right, all right. You gonna be sitting your ass in court by yourself? I don't give a fuck. They gonna happy. be using this? I'd be happy to. They go. gonna be using this? That's Whoa! Shit. What the fuck? I didn't know that. You see, read what she just said. I see. I just didn't want to read it out loud. I don't want to read that out loud. It's not gonna come out of my mouth. Cause ain't nothing Gerard, what's up, Gerard? Said, what we Gerard, talking? what up, boy? You we late today, man? We oh. was talking the two topics today. We about to close out, wrap the show. Um, we was talking about women trying to get brothers to shade their beards. It, 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 it's all an extent for the the situation of this new masculinity shit. And this uh women trying to take yeah. over and women and trying to change men dudes down. Women trying to change men and the masculine. And then playing it over to our second topic, which violence was about is violence is needed and anger Some management. Violence is needed. Not gun violence. A good motherfucking fight. A good straight up hand in hand fight. Then that led over Gerard to the third topic. I don't believe that it's some dude standing in a male barber shop. Bucky I don't naked. know why you don't believe it because it was all over the fucking internet. This shit went. Tracy Vaughn talking about they have rights. They had a right to be naked and put his balls on my shoulder while he cutting it, cutting my hair. There ain't no damn rights. Gerard said it's over for us. <laughs> yeah, they want to take our beards. Tracy and have, our, right. and have us. They want to take our beards and have a nigga that's naked cut it off. Cut off. No, oh, hell no. Nah, Which means his balls got to be right by your cheek. Oh, no, no. Lord. Oh, Lord, I can't take it, Lord. Now, no. somebody got to put a foot down, man. This shit's getting out of control. I have never had a problem she with the she gay... Gonna send, she going to send you the video to your inbox. I have never had a problem. I'm not going to watch that. I'm straight up. I'm a moor. I'm not watching that. I just never... I didn't see any topics about uh, a gay... I mean, a naked barber. Oh, 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 oh. Sis said some real shit. She said the real crime is that it is damn. That shit went that fast. That it's in fact a crime that says that's, but it is perfectly legal, legal for, for cops, cops to, to murder us. us. Right. Yep. We can't say this. We Did can't you see say that. She put the bacon over there. That's funny. Jackie see. say the whole shop is gay, including the clients. Oh, I was about to say, tell me, CC. Jackie just cleared it up. Tell me, I'm thinking this dude a regular barber. Damn, T said. Next thing you know, we are gonna be on the stripper pole. I'm thinking. Uh, Not us. Um, I'm thinking that, uh, Jackie, I was thinking this dude yeah, was... Yeah, this Sodom and Gomorrah, Jerron. Sodom was, and fucking Gomorrah. I was thinking this guy was was a regular guy, and he just be naked in the barber shop cutting hair. So you just cleared it up. I didn't know it was... I ain't Like I said, I never had a problem with the gay or lesbian community. Not at all. I don't give a fuck about it. But... Do what the fuck they gonna do. That's them. That's their life. Look like a basement. Uh oh. Um, it was in the nigga house. Whatever it was, it was in his house. Tracy talking about Tony, shut your mouth. I ain't shutting up shit. That's the problem. Y'all women trying to shut these men. Uncle Mojo stop. on there. Y'all trying to shut us up from talking. That's the problem. These men got to start standing up and being real men again, man. Y'all, y'all, some of y'all men out here is some straight up gumps. 
Ain't no woman going, ain't no woman going to sit up there, should be sitting up there trying to run things. A man is supposed to build a house for the lady, give her the key to take care of her now and them children. A, stripper, a man is supposed to do three P's. Hold provide, on. protect, Walmart. and priest. Trisha Walmack says, what's a regular guy? A regular guy, Walmack, is what I'm saying. A man that loves women and takes <coughs> care of his That's a regular guy. A guy. Heterosexual. He got three P's. He's a provider, a protector, and a priest. He keep God in that house. He provides for that lady and them kids. He bring home them groceries. He go buy them groceries. He help out doing the laundry. I do my own grass and yard. Stay out of my yard. A real man. What our granddaddies used to be, what our daddies was. Let me tell you something. I meant to bring this up to cuz before we close out. Y'all know them relatives that y'all had? That cousin or that sibling that always said, I can't wait till I get 18 and get up out of here. Them the motherfucker problems in the neighborhood today. Them your problems in the neighborhood. Those are your problems. Them damn sisters and brothers and cousins, I can't wait to get out, get grown, and get out of here. They the ones didn't pick up a book. They ass fell out of school. And they the ones that got all these babies running around in today's society. I'm telling you, man, I'm sick and I'm tired of it. We can easily turn this thing around. The black man and black woman are so well gifted I'm from this love. universe, the talent that we have scientifically and mathematically, that we could take back over this planet and this universe in 364 more days counting from today. Brothers, we got to start protecting our women, man, and our babies. These cops and these hate people, they go, if you notice, they going after our women, and our children, they ain't coming after the men. And the men they coming after us is these soft, spaghetti, wet back ass niggas that walk around here naked, cutting niggas' heads and stuff. Man, man, I'm sick of this shit, man. I'm sick of the excuses. I'm sick of people saying, I don't vote. What difference does it make? It make a big difference. Man, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go to read school. This, read that. What? Read that. Read that. What's that have to do with homosexuality? He can be all of those things to his man, us women don't want no man straddling the fence with his sexuality. I mean, that's true. Yeah, we want we want to be a motherfucker to be. I'm not. I'm straight. not. Again. No, you 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 got to understand. You talking about you and yourself. There are a lot of women. You, there are a lot of women you, that want a man with sensitivity. Wanted to be straight. All that. No, it's some women out there that want that shit. And Ralph needed his ass whoop singing that. My shit. granddaddy was a drunk. He didn't. He didn't mow the lawn. He laid, he laid in, in it. it. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Hey, Walmack, I'm sorry. My granddaddy wasn't. The men are the leaders that sculpted them. Yeah. Right. Who wrote, who said that? Go back. Who said that? Portia. Portia said the best. The men are the leaders. Women, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, ladies. <laughs> if you put your crown back on your head and sit back on your throne, the men will follow. Everybody always asks the question, who is the true God? The he true God is the black woman. That's why every other nationality on this planet is trying <laughs> Jerome, to mimic you we got to hook up, man. We got to hook up before I leave so that's, we can do this That's skit, why they're trying to mimic y'all. They're trying to get the big I, butts, I the lips. That's why, the, me your that's why the enemy hire y'all. Tell you, you walk around the office so he can take a good look at you. Hey, man, look at man. We cannot procreate. We can't bring forth new life. That's this, this, why we're not the true gods. We're the guardians good, of the gods. Good. Jerome said exactly. we doomed. You ain't lying, Jerome. I know, I know, I know it's uh, I know I know you you mad. I'm mad too, but you you gotta dry today. Cuz man, Somebody we we are up. now, some of us now are the grandparents. These shorties getting ready to take care of us, y'all. And I'm telling you, if y'all are if y'all are, are old school film lover, me and Cuz got this one movie we really love. <laughs> that's <laughs> that nigga Gerard, stop thinking about killing, killing myself, myself after I get, get my, my last check. check. Hey, what's boy. The name, what's the name of the movie with my man? Oh, my God. Said, nigga, Look, nigga, mom made it top of the world. Yeah, nigga. He, he pushed that old lady down them stairs in that wheelchair. Look, I'm man. I'm trying to think of that movie. Man, these kids are going to this my This is my whole thing. We got to wrap it up. Do what you're supposed to do as a man. Yes, sir. Whatever your sexual preference is. It is okay. If you ain't heterosexual, I don't give a fuck about what you do. I'm pushing that. They finna push the gay agenda. Whoever gonna ride with me, 
I'm right. gonna push the heterosexual agenda. Power make, to the people. Make America heterosexual again. Power to the T-shirts will be sold next week. Power all right, to the they'll people. be out there. I'll have them. I'm gonna have all sizes. I'm gonna do to have all colors. I wanna come out with the red first. So bam, you know, red is a color that make motherfuckers see. Nigga, like, man, what that shirt say? Yeah, I want one of them. Make America heterosexual again. It's not a diss. It's not a diss. It's that I'm pushing the continuance of regular life. Getting back into real Getting man. Getting back to what the fuck is going on. All right, girl, bye. You put your lunch is over with. Her lunch is over with. And you know, she be chief for all of us on the lunch time. Right. But we gotta wrap it up. Because everybody gotta get back to work. I want y'all to do this today. Have a great day. I want y'all to share this. Please share it. All power to the people. Hit the link. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this uh link up right All now. All power to the people. Shut the fuck Say up. Say it one time, cuz. I want I want I want y'all to share the link to the show that is on at the winery. I got another show coming up on the first. So I got y'all. Oh she oh she working from home. Okay. Hey, I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning up? in. Um, I just said the winery on the third. It's this Sunday. I also got some on the first. Oh, and I'm gonna be on the Millennium Twins podcast. All everything that I'm doing is coming up. Please support me. A lot of shit don't cost no money. Some shit costs for you to watch, and other shit is going on. I got a show in Minnesota coming up. Um, I think it's the 16th. Everything that I got, every flyer will be put up right now on my wall and all my social media. Thank y'all. Wait, 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 wait. Ball here and cuz production. Ball here. And Cuz Production. Again, for those just chiming in, one last time, give it up. We got our new studio. Lot Studio. Lot Studio Productions. Yep. We in in association with Bob, Ball Head and Cuz. We in the parking lot. Studio. And if y'all again, if y'all want to catch us, um, this week, this week and this weekend, I have absolutely nothing going on. But that's okay. My life is growing. Um, if y'all want to meet with us or y'all want to talk to us face to face. Meet us at our new office. Our new location is at the corner of Roosevelt and Canal. This nigga. So crazy. That's our new office. First off, gotta say something before we leave. King said some real shit. How did they get in front of us in the rights line? And I understand what you said, but they got in front of the black women. Cause black women still don't have no rights. When y'all was running for that women's rights shit, y'all jumped in the line. And not y'all personally jumped in the line of the white women's rights. Uh, and y'all gained on the numbers. And last, last but not least, shout out again to uh, 95.1. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. Our brother Ramon. Bang, bang, bang. Ski, ski, ski. Is on oh, Ramonski's sister was in fucking in Detroit. I met Ramonski's sister in Detroit. Uh, Ramonski on from 6 to 10. We got Sam Chapman. Um, they trying to work out some stuff with my man Derek. But if y'all want to listen, Derek is always selling Flash at the rink on Thursday nights, 8 to 12. Again, uh, Derek Lewis. Derek Lewis. what? Flash. Flash drives. Oh, flash, flash, uh, flash drives with the uh, mixes the on going. there. Yeah, that's a new, um, new way to do it. Also, again, there's a group of us. We teach skating. If y'all want to come along and learn how to skate, y'all can meet me at the rink, 8 to 12 on Thursday nights. Me and my brother, Sean Tank. Tank didn't want me to talk about it, but I don't care. I'm going to say it anyway. If y'all want a good ass Philly steak, go see my brother Tank at Parkway Hoagie on 64th and King Drive. You'll see the uh, construction um, construction going on on the building. Tank working on the building or whatever, but he got the best, best Philly steaks and chicken sandwiches in the world. Uh, shout out to Flaming, my girl Marie. Y'all go to my page. Log in to my girl Marie Bowling, like a bowling ball. She got the goods on the pocketbooks, the belts. Uh, I think she do shoes, all of that. Y'all can make sure y'all log in to her. Everybody share this. We need y'all to keep sharing. We doing a good job. We getting there, y'all. I'm about to lose this dude. We got to figure out how we going to run the show. You'll never lose it. <clears throat> also, if you want to get you some hand crack, go to Tionia Mary Kay's page. She got this motherfucking shea butter. And we call it hand crack because it'll bring your shit back to life. I use it for my feet. I use it for my hands. And on the weekends, I jag off with it. Look here. Also, Flaming Restaurant on 75th. On 75th Street, yes, between, between what? What is it? 
It's between Sa by, right Perry. off of St. Lawrence. No, no, no. I'm saying all the business from Cottage Grove on back to King to, Drive. To King Drive. No, you gotta go past King Drive. Yeah, to Perry. To Perry. Black on owned now. businesses, man. Yeah. Motherfucker, my mama. Flamin' got the best breakfast, Yeah, Flamin' got the breakfast. Well, they got Shout all. Shout out to Junebug and, and his wife. They got, they got all type of food in that motherfucker. And it's already made to order. That's yeah, what so I love about it. So your shit gonna get hot. It's gonna be that hot. It's gonna be So go to Flamin' Restaurant. I'm gonna put that up on my page, too. Also, uh, as always, the hangout, the spot, the number one break joint, Francis Cocktail Lounge, owned by my man Marlon Mitchell. Y'all coach check it out all people. through the week. Uh, it's a deli. It's a black man that owns a deli across the street. I cannot remember the name of the deli, but it's also on the corner of St. Lawrence, uh, Wings Around the World. My boy Leaky, his chicken restaurant. Man, go support these people, man. Yeah, on 75th Street, 75th Street, Sandy Fifth Street is like the Black Wall Street. Yep. Straight the fuck up. Hey, I'm gonna holler at y'all. I'm gonna do that uh, Q and A. Tia, if you coming, call my phone. I'm gonna do the TNA in an hour, one hour from now. So it's 12.59 at 1.59. Holla.